Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you how to take cool animations and objects from the BuildBox Smart Asset and apply it to your game. So let's get going. Before I begin, if you like watching games get made in real time while learning along the way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell as I put out content daily. So I've been doing this a lot. Here's the game I'm currently working on. We can see I have a character, looks cool. There's a lot of cool things that exist in the smart assets. One of the most common I probably do is grab something from float. We can see that there's a tail in this character. So there is a tail in this object. And from the atom point, we can see that when the ball hits the object, there's a little light and things go away. So we can actually grab both of these and put it in our game. So first I'm gonna go to the float. Where is it? Animation, no, we want this trail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit copy, go to my character, hit paste. We got a lot going on with the character and then we can just hit there, create it. And now my character has a trail. I'm gonna change the fade to 0.5 and the width to 50. And now we can see kind of like a little trail with my character. It doesn't really work, but again, this is more of an example. Next, we can go to these R cubes. There's a, a lot going on here. Some of it's not being used. So let's go to the atom point. And it looks like every time there's if collide, there's this atom point. There's this animation that happens. I'm gonna grab all of this go here at a point grab the defeated grab the animation and let's do something similar so if collide with the bullet we can add a defeated and then this defeated will cause these animations to happen and at the same time i would like to add a single point so let's take a look you can see that there's a little bit of glow when the cube disappears so this level is a little bit difficult to see here. So we can kind of see it, but it looks like it's all happening within the cube. So I'm going to use this delay node, make it 0.15, and then just connect it like this. So this should help us see it 1.5 seconds after the object is removed. Maybe it's the debug mode. We can see it. It looks like it keeps the same color as the object. Doesn't look that cool in terms of the bricks disappearing. I do this all the time in all my games, so it's really important to know all the smart assets and the things that they can help you with. Some of the smart assets may not have any cool animations that you can use, where others do. Take time, go through the smart assets, put them in your game, see if they make sense, and just learn what is available in each one so that it may help you in the future with your game. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and the subscribe with the little bell so that you can be notified as I put out content daily. Until next time, keep making and playing games like me and I will see you later.